But most of all, he's commissioned us to go out and tell the world how he has transformed us. Hey y'all, today we celebrate the fourth Monday of Ordinary Time. And so many times throughout the Gospels, the evangelists share with us exhibits of Jesus's awesome power. And especially in today's reading, we see a man who is possessed by legion, many, many, many demons. And there are a couple of things that I want to focus on about that. Number one, demonic, full demonic possession is real. It's not just in biblical times. It happens even today. But it's important that we understand that it's rare and that we should not have an unhealthy fear of this. Uh, first and foremost, because we see so clearly that Christ has complete and total power over the demonic. Uh, against him, they are nothing. And not only do they tremble at his holy name, but we need to be aware uh, that evil is real and the denial of it is one of the biggest problems in our world right now. Uh, but we need to be aware that evil is real and that demonic activity is, is certainly something we can invite into our lives through various um, uh, things like uh, Ouija boards or uh, the practice of witchcraft and things like that, of course. But at the end of it all, we need to understand that Christ really is king over all creation. And we should not have um, an unhealthy fear. And what I mean by that is there's no need to um, become obsessed and to dig and to um, let it penetrate our minds and our hearts. And what our focus should be on, who our focus should be on, is the Lord. Um, the most important thing for me while reflecting on this gospel is that when the man is freed of all of these uh, evil spirits, he wants to follow Christ and his disciples. But Jesus is very clear. He commissions him to go to his family and to tell him that the Lord has been pitiful, or <laughs> the Lord has had, had pity on him and been merciful to him. And in a way, the Lord is speaking to us. He tells us he that he has mercy on us and that he has pitied us and he wants to forgive us. But most of all, He's commissioned us to go out and tell the world how he has transformed us. So if you've been in maybe a dark, deep depression or gone through a tragedy or had sorrows like all of us do in our life, and the Lord has pulled you out of that, the Lord is commissioning you to share that with others. These things, the, the way that God's power is manifested in our lives is not meant to be kept all to ourselves. We have a, a duty and obligation, and, and why wouldn't we want to share the good things the Lord has done with us with others? Um, that's precisely why uh, the Lord acts um, in our lives to, to sanctify us, but to share the good news with others, which is the Holy Gospel. God bless you.